guys, so I finished the green everything and I just wanted to open a package with you guys or two. I bought a new rice cooker, but I actually don't know if I should return that one and get the Japanese one, but I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't remember what this is, but I hate peanut packaging. Oh, like you say. So, oh, okay, I know what this is. I wanted to replace my plates and my bowls and the pasta plate, whatever bowl. When I purchased my plates and my bowls, I got them from the Hudson Park collection, which is in Bloomingdale's, and I only got two of everything because it was a little pricey. And now that I'm looking at it, sometimes when my brother and my mom like come over, like I always want to serve them food and stuff, and I just don't have enough plates or bowls or anything and so I'm just like oh my gosh like I need to replace these but I love them like I love the plates it's like a very unfinished like an unfinished kind of look and I like that all of the bowls and all of the plates are like a different shape like at the top it's kind of like a little like abnormal but they just don't sell it anymore so I saw some that were similar I guess but you have to purchase them like four set and I obviously don't need six plates or six bowls and stuff so I want to purchase the Le Creuset set Hopefully I can get it as a housewarming gift. So that's like the set that I want, but I purchased these because I didn't have any mugs. And I kept buying the like glass double lined mugs from, from Amazon. The one time I actually drank from it and I think I had a hot drink. It was, no, I think it had to have been iced because the glass broke the inner one and I didn't notice and I was drinking it and I don't even know if I ingested glass at that time, but that was very scary. Oh, oh my God, I almost thought this was like too many cups. But I just like didn't want to go through that. So anyway, I got the cups. I think they're so cute. I just got the white ones. They feel pretty sturdy. I think, oh, 14 ounces. Okay, size. You guys know I've had like a little rice cooker for like the longest time. And actually, I kind of regret getting this. But this is the Kaku rice cooker. And it looks like that. It also has like a pressurizer. You can cook like soups. You can make like short rib in it you can make eggs and like steam it on like high pressure and stuff like that i don't know if i'm i kind of want to return this because i just feel like it's too complicated i was trying to read the instructions and i just like <laughs> i'm kind of lazy i don't know it just seems like there are just a lot of things to do to it and i just want something like simple i should have just purchased the zero sushi right or the like the japanese rice cooker that i feel like a lot of people have i feel like that one's a really good one it actually went down to like 140 or like 130 something and I should have just bought it then. This was like 300 so I bought it for like 2.99, and I think total it came out to like 3.25. But worth it. Like am I going to cook all that stuff? Yeah, I don't know you guys. I liked it because I was like oh the rice will still be good like if I leave it in there because sometimes I've left rice in the rice cooker and it like goes bad obviously but my best friend was like why don't you just put it away? <laughs> put away the rice i was like yeah that's uh you're, you're definitely right i don't know is this like a waste of money like should i just return it i just like don't know if i'm gonna use all these features that it has and one of the main reasons why people buy this one is to like i guess you can make porridge in it as well i don't think it's gimmicky i don't want to say it's gimmicky i think i'm just not the audience but i just love how sleek it looks let me just show you guys this is what it looks like and it's white obviously as you can tell it's like exactly how it is on the picture but it's so pretty. I think I'm just gonna keep it and like try to figure out how to use it and also look up different recipes because you guys don't eat the same thing and I think this will just help me branch out, right? <laughs> I don't know, I I don't know. I love eating rice, but I just feel like I don't cook it enough because it's a carb and I just try to stay like as lean as possible. But I definitely have to get back into walking because I think that really helped lean out my legs and my legs are getting fat again this would be like my birthday gift to myself i'll just keep it i'll just keep okay you guys i'm gonna keep it because i just feel like i need to branch out i need to like make more things okay guys i got ready and i just made breakfast literally my favorite my favorite is the flank steak not the ground beef breakfast i prefer like a piece of steak and i love it my avocados are a little bit under ripe but it's okay, I need the fats. And I'm just going to leave them out. I think there was only one that was actually ripe in the whole package. There was like a pack of like four of them. And I just like threw all of them in the fridge because I thought they were all ripe and they were not. So I need to double check next time. But I'm going to have this with the coconut water. And then I just have like a little paper towel. And I'm so excited. I'm really hungry. I'm also doing a little bit of laundry. The laundry is pretty full today. I totally forgot today it was like a weekend. So I just have to like wait a little bit. And I'm going to like finish the rest of it later. Because I just have my workout clothes like in the washer right now because i have to just air dry them so i was like i'll just put that in right now yes 
I haven't given her her turkey and I think that's why she's a little fussy but I'm gonna eat first because my food's gonna get cold and then I will give her the turkey and she got breakfast already so Luna gets like the amount of food that she's supposed to get for her weight but she always wants more like she's always hungry so I think I'm gonna up her food just by a little bit anyway let's go have breakfast hi guys happy weekend I need to finish my lips I just realized literally I'm spiraling right now let's go ahead and put some stuff away because of the mess right now I'm just drinking my Fiji water this is like I just got these because like if someone comes over I'm not gonna give them like a huge a huge water bottle I just opted for these and I took one to agree this morning because I was <laughs> I was going through it okay I was let's go ahead and clean up the mess I'm not like a super messy person I feel like I let it get to a mess and then there's a point where I just can't tolerate it anymore so then I'll start cleaning so that's what I'm gonna do I just took out the ironing board to um to iron my shorts these are Veronica Beard Veronica Beard and I'm gonna wear my row of sandals with my little brown suede bag and that's gonna be my outfit but let me just put some things away because i need it to be just a little bit tight look at the why why i was out of it last night actually i'm not doing okay i'm like actually spiraling this weekend i got some news i got some news i'll tell you guys in a minute hold on i just don't like this because how am i supposed to some things like this like bother you like this bothers me like this was an 80 dollar iron and you can't even have a retractable cord like make it make sense and honestly the iron and the steamer are two things that i never thought i would reach for a lot like in my last apartment i really didn't use it all that much but i think the older that i get <laughs> the older that i get i just feel like your appearance and your first impressions matter and so that's why i just always want to look like my best even if i'm wearing just a casual t-shirt i will steam it or iron it i prefer to steam over iron just because you gotta take all this out and it's kind of a, a hassle, but it's not a hassle, it's just annoying. It's tough to put it back, but yeah, I love the steamer that I have. I'll link it down below. I stole it from my ex's house, so I don't even know where he got it, but I think it, it has to be like on Amazon somewhere. And then I did purchase my ironing board and my iron. Those, that was like one of the first things that I purchased because since all of my things were in bags, I needed them to be like flattened out and like pressed. Honestly, you guys, life is just very expensive. If I had good parents and if i was able to live at home still i would most likely do that a hundred percent or at least until i was in my mid-20s like because like having to move out like immediately for college and like living in the dorms and then literally just being on my own from there out like that was kind of a little traumatizing i feel like i think just having no parents is traumatizing like in itself and then having to be in foster care and in the system and everything but i mean look at me i turned out pretty good right <laughs> right kind of so let's put my towels away i actually finally learned how to fold towels so hey i'm really happy about this these are the ones that i purchased from target and then these are from bloomingdale's but i want to purchase like my whole collection from bloomingdale's i'm just i'm just poor right now because i can't like i just can't believe like i i look through my amazon account and like how much i was spending Granted, these are all things that like I feel like I needed, but I think in the bigger picture, you're kind of like, oh, you could have lived without it. Also, I got a stack mat. Can I just tell you guys that I was using this the other day? In the last vlog, I told you guys that some things got cut out because something was wrong with my memory card, so I just switched it out. I had like three more, but I should have just switched it out as soon as it said that because it didn't save a lot of my videos. But anyway, I purchased this stacked mat. This When I saw it on shark tank i immediately knew that this was something that i was looking for for the longest time i hate yoga mats i hate that they touch the floor you have to roll it up into itself and that's like the part where you're laying down you're touching and everything and i hate that like i love that you're able to just use this and then you fold it back up into itself and it's like does not touch the ground like that's just so so nice and like so hygienic i feel like so safe okay and so i love that mat i've had it for a few weeks now i mean my vlogs are kind of backed up so you guys don't see like everything in real time but yeah so that was like really exciting that was actually something that i was very excited for i purchased that the same time i got the treadmill so yeah i just didn't like the clips were just lost that's pretty much what i wanted to tell you guys why is the cap for the freaking tylenol bottle like all the way on the other side of the room this is like the first thing i do if i drink i just grab this take like two or three and then pray that i feel better in the morning <laughs> so i'm not even actually cleaning right now like i thought i was going to i have like 20 25 minutes let's just go do something 
I realize I have a lot of linens, so I actually need to go through like this like closet thing and figure out like a way to put my linens in there because there's no other place to put them and yeah. Oh, I ironed these and I'm not even using them. Did I iron those? I did, I think. This rack I also put in the linen closet with the ironing board. This is just so nice to be able to hold up and I love how much space like I have to put my clothes on there. When I went to the wrist, I took this bag and so many people loved it. I was like so, I was surprised because it's a very like just basic bag I feel like, but I actually really like it. Initially when I got it, my ex got it for me, I was kind of like, what the hell? Like I wanted to choose something and I wanted the Ralph Lauren tote bag at the time like the canvas one, but he got me this one and I actually feel like I should apologize for once because I do really like it. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'm going out to dinner right now. I think I'm going to Funk. I've been there before. I think I vlogged it for you guys and I wasn't like totally impressed but I do like the focaccia bread and also one of the pastas I didn't try because I took the recommendation from the waiter and I wish I didn't because I really wanted to try like this ragu pasta and it was like really popular. So yeah, I'm gonna get that tonight. This is my Sandro jacket. I got this, I don't know, a few weeks ago actually and I really, really love it. It's like so nice and like classy this is like the color this is perfect for fall i love it so much so i'm gonna go ahead and hang that up i listening to diva Dibi's album i love her she's so cute i got quite a few comments about my face shape and how it changed and stuff and how i look so much better now and i do grind my teeth so i did get mastered at botox and i think i got 20 units in each so 40 total just for my jaw i don't know that i regret it i think i have my botox appointment like in two weeks just a little bit before my birthday so it should kick in by then but i i don't know if i regret it because i do feel like when you guys saw my the clip that i mentioned it in my last vlog let me know if you guys think my face looked like it was sagging a little bit or if any in any of the clips you guys feel that way because I definitely do. I feel like it's it's made my jaw less. Obviously, there's less tension in it, so your muscles aren't moving as much. So I feel like it's causing a little bit of sagging with my skin, and that's gonna age you like insanely. And I just like don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I should get it again, but I'm gonna get the normal mapping that I usually do for my crow's feet. For I also get a little bit like I get a little bit in here. And then I get in my, in my 11s, obviously, above my eyebrows, and I think up here. Um, yeah, I do get them up here, like, close to my uh, hairline. And then I also do a lip flip, and then also the uh, master muscles. So I think the last time I went to get Botox, I got about, I want to say, 95 units or something like that, or 90. It was a lot. It was a lot of units. But I do love how my face looks but now, and I feel like it doesn't look as puffy. It doesn't look as as big and that was one of my insecurities and so i think if you're insecure about something just fix it and so that's why i want to get lipo in my thighs it's been so difficult for me to slim them out but when i did 12 through 30 it really worked but just because i don't have like a proper treadmill now it's a little bit harder and i can't do that i decided i'm not going to get like the class pass because it's just insanely expensive and i calculated most of like my bills and everything and everything just adds up like quickly if I am with someone that has like that has a treadmill then like yes I'll, I'll use it I'll do 12 through 30 but I think it's just not like I I was actually wanting to turn the dining like near the dining area I want it to be like my workout like the area just because I don't I really don't care for a dining table I always come and sit down on the couch anyway and but I do feel like I need something like proper eventually it's just not it's just not a priority right now so i was just like i should have just gotten like tried out the peloton tried or something but it's, it's okay like i feel like this is all a learning process and if i decide that later then i will do that yeah i need to clean luna's litter out before i head out i just want you guys to know that the chapter of me and virgo it's not virgo and i it's me and virgo please use it in the proper context in the proper sentence you will use some girl posted like <laughs> some girl posted like um let's say her boyfriend's name is jack like 
Gonna get some snacks for Jack and I. Sorry, what? <laughs> Jack and I? Jack, that bothers me. Anyway, me and Virgo are no longer, no longer, because I wouldn't say that I didn't ask for lo for loyalty. I just was asking for honesty, and he looked in my face and couldn't give me that. So, <laughs> so yay me, yay me. But you know what? I had to go back until I hated him, and that's exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna continue to go back and back and back. The more that I went back, the more that I resented the things that he wasn't doing because other men were doing all kinds of things for me i think because of that i just realized like this is just never ever not in a million years will this ever be anything like anything and more it, it will never be and i think we are just two people that are attracted to each other and we enjoy each other's company but at the end of the day like it's never going to be me like i'm never going to be chosen to be the one he's just not at that stage in his life yet and he even said like i I asked him, I just said, why did you do it? And he just said, well, it's not that serious. Like, I'm just not at that point in my life where I just want something, like, serious. <laughs> and you know what? I was watching a lot of Sex in the City, and I just kept saying, Carrie is so stupid. She's so stupid for continuing to go back to this man. And, and then, I don't know, I just I saw my reflection. And it was staring right back at me. So, yeah, I think I just, you just come to a realization one day that, like, it was fun and it was, I, I don't regret any of it. I really don't. I really enjoyed the time that we spent together. It was fun. It was exciting. I'm just not the same 26 year old that I was when we first met. And I think the excitement is just kind of like gone. He's just like not someone that I want to like put on a pedestal anymore. And the more that I, that I think about him being with someone else and like the fact that it actually happened, I'm not saying this like, oh, he was supposed to be with me and only me like obviously that's not it like i'm dating like of other people but like i think it's just the fact that i know <laughs> i know and i think for me i don't know it's different it's different okay to me it's different obviously that's like a double standard whatever it is what it is but i was just upset about it okay so i don't know i just feel this anger inside of me when i think about him being with other people and like having done that and just not being honest with me like I just wanted him to be honest with me. Like, I don't think I would have cared, but I just wanted honesty. And I kept asking because I felt something. He just like lied like every single time. So that was just annoying. I don't know. I don't know like what are lies, what are the truth. But I think at the end of the day, I just wanted, I just wanted to know if he was sleeping with someone else. And he just kept saying like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Like I never had anyone sleep over. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go into a ton of details, but but I will, but I will. So <laughs> us having like a little bit of a trauma bond and then it was like really exciting and then it wasn't and then I literally have the same job as his mom and his mom like passed away. I don't know, like it's just weird and I'm just not okay with it anymore. At least just the way that I feel about the whole situation. I just get like really angry and really disgusted and like upset when I think about him now, which is like not how I felt. I was always very excited and it was always something that I was looking forward to. Like, I was just so happy. I felt like a little girl, and I just loved, like, being there and spending time with him. And now I just don't feel that anymore. And I think once that feeling is gone, it's gone forever. And it's just not something that I feel myself getting back unless, like, he does something crazy for my birthday. Like, I don't know, last year he sent me flowers even though he was in a relationship. Is that someone that, like, I really want to be with? Like, I don't know. I think you think about these things when, obviously, something goes rogue. And... <laughs> I just I just think I'm really realizing things now and I think this is this is a step in the right direction and I think it's so good to just finally let go of this part of my life because it was just lingering around for so long like and well actually it was I was over it okay I was over it and then he messaged me when his girlfriend broke up so I was just like okay like I was still excited I think I only went back because I wasn't happy with the way that things ended when it was like all said and done but I think now I'm kind of like, I'm okay with it being over. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I need to put my stuff away. I've got to put this away. Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. I've been talking to you guys for 30 minutes. Okay, I changed my mind. I guess I'm gonna have to use the Dior bag again. I can't find my 
throw back the white one. What the hell? Okay, whatever. That's fine, I guess. I just like don't, this is like too clashy, clashy, I feel like. Oh my god, where is my wallet? I can't believe I spent like $350 yesterday. I mean, that was like therapy, like, maybe I have an alcohol problem. <laughs> that's not funny, you guys, actually. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Like, that's not okay. I'm gonna take my keys off of here. I just wanna come back home after this and just listen to Beba Doobie. TBH. Okay. I really like this is just so like I just wanted something simple, a simple bag. I can't find it. Hi guys, good morning. We have officially entered sweater season. I'm wearing my scuba knits now and it's not even that cold to be honest. I think it's like maybe 64, like 65 in the mornings, which is a little bit chilly because we're just like not used to that because it's been summer this whole time. I wanted to show you guys, I picked up some um, body suits, but don't mind like the sweat because I wore it to Legree. So I literally just got back from Lagri and like getting coffee. But anyway, this is what it looks like. This is a bodysuit. This is a size four. Okay, I think, like, I don't know. I, I know it's more complicated if like they mix up the sizes for like top and bottoms, but I just feel like my bust is like maybe too big for a four. So I wanted to get like this lipo, but someone said that's like part of my, my boob, like breast fat or something like that. I don't know. So this is what it looks like. This is a bodysuit. I got it in a size four, but in 28 length and i usually don't get it that long but i feel like these you need to get it that long because like it just allows for a little bit extra fabric i'll show you guys what it looks like so that's what it looks like from the back from the front and i actually do really like the longer ones i only got like four pieces because i just like wasn't sure if i was gonna like them or not and then my bestie is pregnant so she has been getting hers like i saw her with the bodysuit and I was like, oh my gosh, I love how that looks on her, but she got them from Aritzia and she really likes them. I think they have some with the butter line. So let me just show you guys here. Can you guys see, let me turn this light on. Okay, yeah, I think that's a little better. So you can tell like it's espresso and I really like it. It's like really fitted, really nice and tight. I will say that it does give you a little bit of a camel toe if you're not careful enough, but if that bothers you, like just put a panty liner and then it won't do that. And it'll just like leave it smooth. This is the align with the six inch shorts. I did hike them up just a tiny bit, but you can't even really tell because my torso, like it just takes it. So that's what they look like. If it were like, if my thighs were just a little bit smaller, I think I would definitely keep this. Like, should I just keep this for when I lose weight? I feel like people do that and then like they don't lose the weight, right? So is that like stupid? Your stomach is naturally gonna expand throughout the day as you like eat more. So obviously you're skinniest when you first wake up, which I probably should have filmed this, but I did not. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just like not loving this. I feel like maybe I'm just, maybe it's not my size, but I feel like I don't know. I'm just like not super excited about this. This is Nomad with the 28 inch and that's what it looks like. I think the tw like, I don't know, the 28 in bodysuits like just fit me really nicely, but that's what it looks like. And I feel like you can see everything, like all of the contours of your body. So I don't know, this color would look nice if like you had like Really ripped abs or something but yeah i love the bum i think it looks really nice i do feel like I'm a little wide so it really accentuates that like i don't know overall i do love this color i do have the aligned top for it already maybe i should have got this like in separate so i feel like that'd be super cute i love the color i just i don't know this is like one of my favorite colors but i just don't know if it goes well with me i know my boobs look outrageous i've also been having bee pollen with my yogurt maybe i should not do that because my boobs are like, I feel like they're just getting bigger. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it looks like. Let me try on the halter one. That's the last one that I have, and then I already showed you guys espresso, obviously. This is the halter, and the 25s just go up a little bit over my ankle. Personally, I don't like this one. I feel like my shoulders look absolutely, they look like I'm like, <laughs> I look like I'm like some bodybuilder or something. I don't know. It just does not look, oops. It just does not look like, nice I mean, this looks 
very concerning. Let me go back here. Oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is like not for me, but it looks the same as espresso. Like everything is generally the same. I think the back is down a little bit more. So this is more like a, this is a lower back one. So like it's not gonna show a bunch of your body fat like here on the side, which the aligns can tend to do. Like the align tops, if you get like an original one, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Obviously, Lululemon does compress your like your legs, your arms, literally everything. If you get anything aligned, it's gonna make you look a little bit slimmer than what you actually are. So, do not look at this and think that I'm naturally this skinny. Obviously, like I am a size four, size two in tops, size two in dresses, but. Bottoms are generally like a four, like between a four and a two. And so I just feel like, I don't know, everybody's body's different. Like, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm not even, I don't know, I just, I don't know you guys. Honestly, I don't even think I really liked the espresso like bodysuit. Like I do like the idea of a bodysuit because it's just like one item, obviously. It's like the price of like a pair of pants, but you get like the whole thing. I don't know, I think I'm, I'm probably gonna return this one. I kind of want to keep Nomad, but I just feel like it's not versatile. So I don't know if I should return that one. The bodysuit aligned with the shorts. I feel like I can keep that. Like that one is like a good indicator of how much weight I'm losing and I feel like it'd be good to track it. And I feel like my legs will slim eventually. I just like don't know when I'll feel confident enough to wear that. This I just feel is not flattering to my body at all just because of my shoulders. I work out my shoulders like every day, like in Legree. We'll do like this and then we'll do like biceps and I just feel like my shoulders definitely grew a bit like in muscle also but this is like my bone like it's not like it got wider it's just like I just got muscle around it those are what all of the bodysuits look like let me know what you guys think okay okay I will say I have been using the skin SkinCeuticals the ferulic acid and i don't know if it's that or tretinoin but my skin can we just actually i broke up because i was on my period last week but my skin i feel like has looked its best like now i feel like the skin tone is even everything looks nice and tight aside from like when i was showing you guys my i don't know if, was i just bloated that day i really don't know well this feels like really tight right now but i don't know that's so weird like sometimes it feels really tight other times it feels like yeah like i don't know i don't want to i don't want to get like kybella or anything i want to like do something later down the road that's going to make it like nice and tight when it actually needs it i feel like right now it's kind of okay i'm definitely not against like procedures or anything i think my pores are still a little large i did see them yesterday i was like looking up close and i do have like not enlarged pores i would say but my pores are like visible like to the naked eye like my face looks slimmer some i was i just bloated that day i don't know but i feel like my face looked fat that day so my face does look slimmer like partially because of just losing weight and then also i did ask my injection nurse my, my statistician she was just telling me that the master of Botox was not going to work on the first time and that it wasn't going to do much to slim my face. And I will say that I do think that it worked a little like in the slightest bit, but I don't think that it's the main reason why my face slimmed down. I think it's because I lost a lot of weight in my face because the master, like for your master muscles, it takes about two to... She's like throwing my pill bottles on the floor. Okay. It usually takes about three to four sessions to get your desired look and then two to three to see results. And so she was just saying like, it's pretty unlikely that the injections that I got back in June, that that would have made a difference to like my facial, my facial structure, like my shape. So I don't know, but a lot of you guys said that you saw a difference in my face and that it looked better and like slimmer and just prettier i guess so thanks this is just like a pretty chill saturday i feel like i'm just kind of like relaxing at home baby tuna oh baby tuna oh i got this okay oh, oh yeah i wanted to try this on actually with my set because this is just a like one of those slinky tops oh the color is like not the same this is like a more like a warmer brown i just got this on amazon i like these slinky tops though because some of the clothing items, I have a lot of pants, but I don't have a lot of tops. This color is fine if you wear it with like 
nomad pants or something. Like, I like it. I probably wouldn't wear it with um, espresso. It's not the same color, but it's cute. It's it's very close in color. I'll leave this link down below. This was on sale. That's the only reason why I got it. I think it was like $10, but they have other colors that are like more expensive because I think they sell more of those in units. And this was just like, I don't know. It was just cheap, so I just got it. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go get in the shower and I will come back and chat with you guys in a minute. <laughs> Hi guys. I... I'm getting ready to film a video right now. I was supposed to do this like two weeks ago, but you guys know I lost my necklace and this was like a like sponsorship with Ideals, so I needed to wait for that to come in again. I was also spiraling this weekend because me and Virgo are no longer a thing, like and we never ever ever will be ever again in my life, thank god. I just am so glad that this is over. I needed to go back to him until I hated him and I actually hate him right now. It's just like the end of an era, which is like actually so crazy. I never thought that I would see this take up. Also, I've been noticing that I'm more expressive this like summer and I think it might be because of the sun because I'm squinting and the sun's in my eye. So my Botox kind of faded a little bit faster, but I have my appointment on the 12th so i'll bring you guys along with me and that'll be so much fun but i definitely want to vlog more i just like don't know how i just i don't know i'm very i try to be very private with my life but i obviously love showing you guys like my apartment and everything because i'm back in la and it's just so nice to be home oh i have like what is fur like all over my face anyway i just needed to go back to that man until i hated him and i actually despise him like disgusting vile piece of garbage there's no other way to really get over it aside from that method because i feel like i've tried so many things i think it's so funny when people say oh go no contact or ghost him or whatever it's only ghosting or no contact for one party because the other one couldn't care less if they're not reaching out to you they're not wanting to talk to you or anything it's it literally means nothing to them they're just not reaching out like it's not no contact for them if that even makes sense in that context when you think of it that way it's actually kind of so foolish <laughs> And it's so embarrassed. I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly. I actually need it to look semi-decent. I'm filming for quite a while. And right now I'm using Sienna Dune and Apricot, Apricot for my concealer. I've been liking this Charlotte Tilbury to, to just cover up a little bit of my dark circles. I wonder if I get like injections or do like PFP under my eyes if it'll make it go away. But I'm a little apprehensive about doing any more treatments because my birthday is coming up and i didn't do my treatments in time like my botox should have been done two weeks ago so it could kick in by the time my birthday came i've also really been enjoying this shantikai bronzer i used to use this a lot i bought this in hawaii like almost a year and a half ago actually i don't know what i'm doing for labor day weekend ideally i want to do something with like an easy flight but hawaii is five hours away which to me is fine because i'm so used to new york and that just kind of seems normal now but i feel like that can be a little bit much for people who don't usually fly you might get a little antsy i like to spritz my face i feel like you guys have not seen my room my closet's actually big i have like two full sections and this one is like half and then half and then that side is like a full just one rack i need to get like a shoe rack or something or like something to put my shoes on because i don't have anything and my shoes are just like all on the floor well here's a beauty blender i used a brush yesterday and it came out really nicely but i feel like it was a little heavy and i kind of want the beauty blender to pick up some of the product because i always add more at the end once everything is on but i've been loving doing my makeup even when i don't have anything to do i just do it just because it makes me feel pretty and i think it's so nice to just feel nice and put together every day Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I was just reading so many things. Obviously, when you separate from someone, whether it's a breakup or like a real relationship, whatever it is, it's a little, it's a little draining, like the days following, but after you just feel so much better. Like, I feel so much better knowing that that's not looming over my head because that's just something that I kept dreading. Like, oh, I want to see him. Like, oh, this sucks. Like, the situation sucks. But at the end of the day, it's like you're putting yourself in that situation. So what the fuck? Like, get out of it. And that really helped. I'm using IT Cosmetics. I don't even know what shade this is because it's like a medium tan. But I really like this product and it really stays. It photographs really well. I took some photos at the Ritz and I don't want to show them because my friends are in them. But I, I don't know if she'll care, like, if she's in it, but... We took photos with like flash and it looks so good. We also took it without flash, it also looks really good. So overall I think this 
foundation really photographs well you just have to bronze really well so it doesn't look like a mask over your face if it's a little bit lighter i had a long sleeve dress on i was wearing my zimmerman some days i want to look more bronze than others just depends like what i'm doing it's so weird yesterday i went to sushi for dinner and i did a mukase at like this small spot in gardenia it's actually really far for me to go to gardenia but i wanted to do a mukase at this spot and it was actually really good it's like just like a little small like japanese spot and it was really cheap too it was maybe $50 for 12 pieces and then I also did extra pieces but I really want to go to Scratch it's like the Michelin restaurant but that's like in the valley and that's just it's a little far I don't think like it doesn't matter like but whatever it's just like it's hard to get a reservation and then it's far and so it's just like one thing on top of another how have you guys been? I feel like I'm really just living life and really busy with work and Luna has been like a little fussy so I think her new vet is going to be Malibu Malibu is a little further, but their prices are... The thing is, if I'm going to be paying, like, west side prices, I'd rather pay for her to go there because their dental work is actually not... The prices are not that bad for dental work. I'm going to use apricot, and I'm going to mix it in with dune. I like doing this before I set it because I feel like it just adds, like, a, a layer... And it kind of ensures that my under eyes just like stay put and i prefer to use a brush for this i really like this sephora brush this is the pro concealer i don't know what number oh 71 and this one's really nice for blending in your under eye concealer i'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in i feel like my makeup is like whatever like i don't think too much about it i just want it to look good but i have really been liking this routine that i've been doing it stays put all freaking day like it's crazy i do look a little bit oily by the end of the day but i just will blot some powder and then it's fine i have been drinking quite a bit just because i've been going out to dinner a lot but i need to stop doing that like you don't have to drink with every freaking meal so it's just better to not do that so i'm gonna try to not drink anymore at least just with dinner like maybe once a week i'll a lot that to myself but i really don't need to be doing that every single day it's just like so unhealthy i need to break out of those like habits like just because it's there does not mean that you should have it that goes for anything <laughs> under here i'm using charlotte tilbury and mine is broken so i'm not showing you guys my makeup routine is maybe 15 minutes 10 15 minutes i guess 10 if i'm not talking but i talk a lot i'm a yapper for sure also i downloaded hinge again like what the fuck is going on with that app like i'd rather i'm gonna delete my profile because that is just crazy it's just like ill like ill and then the people they match you with ill like double ill and i'm very picky i'm not gonna date someone that i don't find attractive i think obviously you can find people attractive like the more that you're with them but guys don't do that so why should i date someone that i don't deem attractive and if the attractive people are not attractive to me because they think they can get someone else that's more attractive well then fine that's just a cycle it's just a never-ending cycle like i don't care i don't care and i'm not going to give someone the benefit of the doubt because then they're going to be like that's just what guys do guys will never be with someone that they don't find pretty so like why should i like an average guy like that's just not not okay this is mac gingerly it fades really fast so like don't worry it looks like a lot but it's not a lot because it fades and then i'm using the natasha denona because we are back in autumn or it's gonna be autumn so i've been using this for my eyelids and i really like the color of it it's just like a nice like kind of smoky look it's better for day for nighttime actually like day night i also do a color in my crease just to try to blend it out so i'm using chai and carly bible's palette this is an old palette so just use whatever neutrals you guys have and i just like was not using any of my products and now i i'm just like trying to use it up but i also really like eyeshadow in the autumn time as well so it's okay i really want to get a lash lift but i just feel like every time i get a lash lift there is no place that i like that does it but i guess i could try somewhere like in my area i just feel like it's just easier to get it done in new york even though i didn't particularly like the shop that i went to i need to try a new place even if it's like a little bit more expensive because i just feel like they'll do it a little bit better i feel like my eyelashes are just a little longer than what they might be used to especially for my eye shape like eye shapes like this usually typically don't have long lashes so. my lip combo is still the same just my charlotte silvery lip liner i do not think i'm going out to dinner tonight i think i just have a quick morning i was spiraling really really bad like i'm actually kind of embarrassed i mean like whatever it's fine they accept me for who i am and for what i did but like it is borderline embarrassing because 
I went to Cesare restaurant first and I went to go see my favorite bartender because he moved there and then I went to Medeo so I had a lot to drink like at the first place and I just like needed to get this over with because I just had to come to terms with my life and the situation and what it was I had a lot to drink there and I had like mixed drinks like, and if you guys have not tried a white spritz like it is so good I am not a fan of Aperol spritz I don't like how bitter it tastes it tastes vile to me I've had it before I don't remember where I think maybe in Mexico but I hated it so then I started drinking white spritz and that's with either Prosecco or Champagne you can request for Champagne which is what I do because I don't like Prosecco it is so good so I had one of those oh no I had like two of them and then I had a lot of wine like maybe three glasses of wine I went to Medeo and then I had an espresso martini with tequila in it and that was just like that was a lot for me like I if I drink wine I have to stick with wine so that's like what I think messed me up so yeah I was I was spiraling pretty bad I woke up with a little bit of a hangover like it wasn't horrible I still made it to my degree class which is honestly what matters the most that was actually insane and I have to show my face there again well I went to Chesita like a few days later so that was fine but for Medeo I have not gone back and I'm gonna go back when I have my Botox appointment because I always go there like after dinner because it's really close to there that'll be that'll be interesting and fun I have not done that in a long time I don't think I've actually done that actually maybe like the last time we like stopped talking it's just like so crazy how it's just over and done with now like I know for sure I think just because like I'm so not into it anymore just like after what happened and I know I'm being very vague I'll probably share with you guys like later in the future but like right now it's just so fresh for me that I'm a little triggered yeah it's on my TikTok actually it's fine I mean life goes on I just finished my hair I was actually going to use the larger barrel for the Dyson but I feel like that just never stays and it just makes my hair look like wavy but not curly so I just went ahead and did the normal the normal smaller barrel and then I got Joe and the Juice because I am just so hungry and I did not feel like taking out all of my things to cook right now because I have to film this. I also got an oat milk vanilla matcha. I really like the matchas from Joe and the Juice. I feel like it's good. Like I'm not a matcha expert and I've never made a matcha in my life because I've never purchased matcha. I hate this lid. Like, mmm. That's good. I'm not a matcha expert. I really love Damo's matcha. I think that one's really good. I typically don't get matcha like everywhere I go. I just get like espresso. Mm. I actually really like it. I feel like it could be more green, but that's okay. And then I just got the spicy tuna, spicy tuna cotto. I'm starving right now. I wanted to go to Hallie's Legree class because she's actually quitting. She's moving. She's like one of my favorite instructors. And like, I always went with her for a mega former. I just like do not have time today. And I was on the phone with my doctors, with my neurologist, and then also with one of my friends from Connecticut. And then also just like all over the place. So also with my attorney. And so it's just been like crazy morning, but really happy to have some nutrition in my body. Mm. Oh my God. Honestly, it tastes just kind of burnt, but what am I going to do? Send it back. I'm watching Casino on Peacock. Like, uh, I watch this every day. I'm also watching Sex in the City again. Like, I always watch it. And I'm trying to, like... I think when I started seeing that I could relate to Carrie more, that was actually really concerning for me. Do you guys hear that? I turned on the camera to start filming, and then my neighbor is, like, vacuuming their house for, like, 30 minutes. Like, 30 minutes. Okay. So, we're just going to make a cold brew, and... We're gonna get past it. I'm running short on daylight because I get more sunlight. I think my apartment's facing east, east? Yeah, so I only get sunlight early and not really during like the evening. So it's like really difficult for me to film later. I need to refill in this water. Hold on, this is making me upset. And I need to change the battery for this, okay. These are the ingredients I have. Let's go ahead and make the cold brew. I'm losing my mind right now. I have my little whisker here whisker whisker i threw away the lids for it and now i'm regretting it because i think everybody with their with their little coffee in the cup i think everybody has like the same cup i cannot get the ice out of here i was looking at rooms of course because it's labor day i wanted to get away this weekend but esperanza in cabo is like 1700 right now and the Cape is not open for this weekend, which is so inconvenient. They open on the 2nd. Who else? I think Palmia is also like 1500 And then, do you guys hear this? Do you guys hear this? 
I think that's all I was really looking at. The prices are outrageous. Not going to Mexico. It would actually be so much better to go next weekend, which I would not mind anyway, but the Ritz in Maui is actually the cheapest hotel that I'm able to find. Oh my God, this is... This is gross. Okay. Um, since that was a fail, let's go ahead and order some coffee. This is like actually a disaster. This has been going on for an hour now, an hour. I feel like these are things that they should tell you before you move into an apartment and sign a lease. Like the days that maintenance comes, well actually maintenance has not been here. I showed you guys like the hole under the bathroom and like they haven't fixed that. And also like the cabinets they haven't fixed. In my last apartment, I was on the 21st floor. So I didn't hear gardeners. I didn't hear anyone. Yeah, they did vacuum like once a week. The floors were generally like pretty clean on my floor. I realized that I didn't deal with flies because it wasn't on a level that was like accessible to them because flies do not fly that high, obviously. So I never remember ever really having flies in my apartment. And if I did, it was so rare or they were like stuck in the hallway and they just like snuck in or something. Very rare, but here you guys know, I don't, okay. So I had like some deleted clips actually yeah the flies were literally like one after another after another each day that shit was driving me crazy i know it's like annoying to like hear me complain about my apartment after i like signed the lease and i was like so excited oh my god my apartment but i feel like these are just things that you don't know until you move in and it's very unfortunate and very annoying but what am i what am i to do okay let's like get into filming this right now okay i just wrapped up filming and i'm so tired like every time i have to film for youtube i feel so tired but i feel very accomplished i just have to like export the footage and get started on it i'm actually just so exhausted i have like a pile of clothes on my credenza that i need to move i put like all my reformation stuff back in my closet thank god i left them on the hangers because that would be a nightmare to just like this one this one this one like no thanks yeah my room is like pretty much clean for the most part i think i'm just like tired and hungry and i feel like i didn't have enough protein today even though i had the tuna cotta sandwich like i feel like for a normal person that's like a good amount of food but i don't know why i feel like i've been needing to eat more but i'm not like working out like doing 12 through 30 so like i, I don't know not doing 12 through 30 is like really throwing me off because my legs are not as slim as i feel like they could be so i feel like i'm just like beating myself up about that and like that's the thing with having body dysmorphia is that and just feeling like i look fat all the time it's just like not a good feeling and i just feel like i can't really do anything to like overcome it other than just continuing to work out and like eat healthy and it's just really triggering sometimes <laughs> it's not funny but i don't know maybe i can just like eat here and then i probably just want to eat later when i go meet up with my friends because i think they're just gonna drink i'll probably have a mocktail something with like n almost no sugar like just probably club soda and i'm also craving like branzino but i had just at it last week i think or what day did i go saturday i just went i just went to chesed on tuesday i don't know why i was thinking i went on the weekend i spiraled on the weekend that's what i did this weekend i'm getting a lot of my days confused i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like make food here and then i'll eat anyway i need to figure out what i'm gonna do with the rest of the day and if i'm gonna end up going to go meet them up because if i do i have to find an outfit and i don't know what to wear but i feel like so like low energy right now okay.